Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this dark wide lens video effect in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, as you can see on the timeline, I have got a stock footage. You can use any footage that you like. First of all, let's right click on the video layer and then click on Nest. Now we can call this dark wide lens. After that, click on OK. The main reason for nesting the video layer is to allow for easy modifications in the future if necessary. Now let's move over to the effects panel to apply an unsharp mask effect. Now let's drag and drop the unsharp mask effect on the video layer. Next, go over to the effect controls panel to customize the unsharp mask effect. Now we have to make the amount property value around 137. After that, we have to apply another effect. This is a channel blur effect. Let's drag and drop the channel blur effect onto the video layer. Again, go over to the effect controls panel to customize the channel blur effect. Firstly, we have to create an ellipse mask by clicking on this icon. Next, let's customize the ellipse mask. Please note this step is important. So do the same thing as I'm showing here something like this. All right, let's make the mask feather value around 94. After that, let's make the mask expansion value around 69. And then we have to enable the inverted property by clicking on this box. Now we have to make the red blurriness parameter value around 11. And then let's make the green blurriness parameter value around 7. And lastly, we have to disable this repeat edge pixels property. We can conceal all the parameters of the channel blur effect and the unsharp mask effect for work convenience. In the next step, we have to apply another effect from the effects panel. This is a transform effect. Now let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. Firstly, we have to create a four point polygon rectangle mask by clicking on this icon. Next, let's customize the rectangle mask. This is a very precise work, so we will probably need to zoom out the program monitor. And then we have to select the mask. Now you can see here, both of these corners are filled in a solid blue color. After that, you need to hover at the corner until you get that kind of rotational symbol. And then press shift on your keyboard. After that, you will get this double arrow. And once you see that double arrow, then left click and scale up the mask outside the video frame, something like this. All right, the mask customization is complete. In the next step, we have to make the scale parameter value around 52. And then let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a lens distortion effect. After that, let's move over to the effect controls panel. First of all, from the transform effect, we have to copy the mask that we have already created. And then we have to paste the mask in the lens distortion effect. Now let's conceal all the parameters of the transform effect for work convenience. After that, from the lens distortion effect, we have to make the curvature parameter value around negative 50. And then let's change the fill color to black. All right, now you can see the changes on the program monitor. Now let's conceal all the parameters of the lens distortion effect for work convenience. After that, we have to copy the lens distortion effect and then paste the lens distortion effect three times. So we need a total of four copies of the lens distortion effect. Now you can see on the program monitor, the wide lens has been created successfully. Now we have to apply Lumetri color effect to make the video a little bit dark. So let's drag and drop the Lumetri color effect onto the video layer. Next, let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize the Lumetri color effect. Firstly, we have to create an ellipse mask by clicking on this icon. Next, let's customize the ellipse mask. Please note this step is important. So do the same thing as I'm showing here, something like this. All right, let's make the mask feather value around 250. And then we have to enable the inverted property by clicking on this box. And then let's open the drop down menu of the basic correction panel. Now let's make the exposure parameter value around negative 1.1. Next, we have to make the shadows parameter value around negative 40.5. And lastly, we have to make the blacks parameter value around negative 11.4. All right, let's conceal all the parameters of the Lumetri color effect for work convenience. In the next step, we have to apply another Lumetri color effect from the effects panel. Now let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize the Lumetri color effect. Firstly, let's open the drop down menu of the basic correction panel. Now let's make the tint parameter value around negative 25. After that, let's move the time indicator at the beginning of the video layer. Now we have to create some keyframes for the exposure parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. Next, let's move the time indicator five frames forward. Now we have to make the exposure parameter value around 0.5. Again, let's move the time indicator five frames forward. Here we have to make the exposure parameter value around zero. 
and then move the time indicator 5 frames forward. Now we have to make the exposure parameter value around 0.5. Again, we have to move the time indicator 5 frames forward. And then, let's copy these four keyframes, and we have to paste them here. Alright, we have to do the same thing to the whole video layer. I am going to fast forward the whole step. Alright, now we are done. The dark wide lens video effect creation is almost complete. As you can see on the program monitor, it looks great. In the last step, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Now we can drag the adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the video clip. Next, let's select the adjustment layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Firstly, let's find the opacity section and then click on the blend mode drop down menu and select the soft light mode from the list. Alright, now we are done. As you can see on the program monitor, the dark wide lens video effect creation is complete. By following these steps and incorporating the optional enhancements, you can create a dynamic dark wide lens video effect inside Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.